today I'm gonna be playing out the 2023 season for the Cleveland Browns but after every touchdown that Amari Cooper scores we get to add a 99 overall player to this team so I mean as long as Amari Cooper actually goes off today by the end of the video the Browns should be an absolute super team I mean to start things off right away the Browns already have a pretty solid offense and I mean on the other hand no question about it they also have one of the best defenses in the league so I mean right out of the gate this team is already clearly built for the playoffs and I mean as long as Cooper goes off today they're just gonna keep getting better and better so this team's probably gonna be pretty terrifying but in week one it looks like we're gonna be taking on Joe Shiesty and the Bengals I mean I'm hoping I can get off to a hot start in this game since he did already score so we are down seven nothing I'm just gonna keep it on the ground here for at least the first little bit because it is raining so that means our passes are probably gonna be off target in this game but either way three yards to go and we got the first down and it looks like we're getting stuffed looking back I probably should have used Nick Chubb on that run but anyways we only need three yards and I'm pretty confident that somebody can get open here it looks like we're gonna have Bell so that is gonna keep the drive alive we haven't given the ball to Nick Chubb yet though so I'm gonna hand it off to him and see if he can do any damage that's not the best pickup but either way I mean I'll take it four yards isn't nothing I'm gonna put it back in the air here though Oh, this is going to be close, but it looks like we're going to have Amari Cooper. Surprisingly enough, though, I mean, that still isn't enough for the first down. So it's third and one. But I mean, with a running back like Nick Chubb, one yard is pretty much nothing. And it looks like we're going to get a lot more than just that. I mean, after all of that, 36 yards to go and we're in the end zone. I'm going to try and go for a shot right here and hopefully a Cooper can end it off oh dude yeah that's not happening we're going backwards too yeah it seems like the Bengals are putting up one hell of a fight on defense right now i was just sitting there waiting hoping that cooper would get open but he's kind of double teamed there so i didn't want to risk it and then we got sacks but either way that's gonna be a first down for more so as long as we don't throw an interception or fumble the ball i feel like we should be able to score a touchdown here come on cooper that looks good back of the end zone we're gonna get the feet down so that is going to be Amari Cooper's first touchdown of the day. And that touchdown right there is also going to tie things up. So we're all knotted at seven. But anyways, we're coming back out here in the third quarter. As you can see, things are not exactly going our way right now. So this is a pretty important drive that I feel like we kind of have to score on at this point if we want to keep in this thing. Come on, Watson's still going. I'm not sure how he didn't get taken down there. Okay, that was actually a huge pickup. I was not expecting that out of Deshaun Watson. I mean, I know he's got legs on him, but he was plowing through defenders like a running back there. Oh, come on. That should work out, too. That's going to be another first down from Amari Cooper. But anyways, as I already said, a field goal will help us a little bit, but obviously a touchdown is what we're going for. But if we get held to a field goal... Our, our, our defense is gonna need to clutch up and we'll also need a two-point conversion to tie but anyways three yards to go and we got another first down so i'm just gonna keep it on the ground with kareem hunt and it looks like we got it and we're still up i'm gonna try and go for a shot here with cooper i mean this play is kind of risky but if it works out that is gonna give us a lot of yardage so hopefully i don't regret this come on cooper please <gasps> Oh my god, he's out of bounds. I don't know what to say, man. I actually can't believe that didn't work out. I mean, that was pretty off target. I'm blaming that one on Deshaun Watson, but either way, now we need to get a first down here. We almost got smoked, dude. That was so close. Cooper might bring this back. We are three yards short. I mean, as long as we get three yards here, we are in for a touchdown, but the Bengals did force a third down after that, so I mean, we're kind of in dire need to get this done right on this play, and it looks like we're gonna have Cooper in the corner. So that's barely going to be a touchdown. So that's going to be two on the game now for Amari Cooper. And that does put us right back in this game. But at the same time, our defense needs to clutch up for us. Coming back out here in the fourth quarter, though. I mean, it looks like my wish came true. The defense actually clutched up for us. So, I mean, if we can score here, considering we're down by five points, that should hopefully put the game away. And we're going to have Amari Cooper wide open. So that might be the one to do it. There is still 13 seconds on the clock, though. I mean, 
as long as Burrow doesn't pull up Mahomes, we should be good. But I'm going to go for the two-point conversion. Just because, I mean, at this point, a two-point lead is not going to help us out whatsoever. So hopefully this works out. Because then, I mean, if they do go down and kick a field goal, that's only going to tie it. But our O-line is going to collapse. So hopefully our defense does not screw this up for us. And I mean, thankfully, it looks like they were able to get the job done. That would have been crazy if we blew that game. But either way, that was a really, really close one to start off the season. I mean, we only won by one point. But anyways, after that game, we got to add three new additions to this team. I just went ahead and focused on the defense. I mean, as you can see, we went ahead and picked up Fred Warner, TJ Watt, and Chris Jones. So, I mean, after all of that, I'm pretty sure at this point, it's safe to say that we have the best defense in the league. And the scary thing is they're probably going to keep getting better. But that's going to bring us to week two. And as you can see, we're going to be taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers. And I mean, you already know we had to pull out the all whites for this game. This honestly might be one of the hardest jersey combos in the league. I mean, it just looks absolutely insane. I mean, I don't know if they topped the creamsicle buccaneer uniforms, but they are definitely up there. I'm going to see if we can get Amari Cooper open here, though. And it looks like that's going to be an absolute dot from Deshaun Watson. So that brings it into Steelers territory. I'm going to keep it on the ground of Kareem Hunt here, though. Oh, come on. Get going. That's close. After that, though, I'm going to switch it up and go to other direction. And hopefully Nick Chubb can get the first for us. That's going to be really close. Come on. We I, oh, we're third in inches. I thought we got pushed in there. But I mean, again, just like last time, a couple inches should be nothing for a guy like Nick Chubb. And it looks like we're going to get that and a whole lot more. So, I mean, after all of that, 15 yards to go and we're in. I'd say now is probably a good time to try and end it off with Amari Cooper. I'm just throwing a... No way that worked. Yo, I have never seen that happen before. That was insane. I usually don't do this, but first of all, terrible throw from Deshaun Watson. I thought that was going to be an interception, but it bounced off a dude's hand. This guy's not even looking at the ball. He He's looking the other direction, but he still caught it. I'm done asking questions at this point. I'll take it. Anyways, after that, Pittsburgh did force a third down. So, I mean, if this play doesn't work out, we are going to have a bit of an issue. I don't want to force an interception or anything, but it looks like that's going to work out. And I'm pretty sure we got hit as well. And it looks like it is going to be a roughing the passer call, thankfully. So, that touchdown is going to count. So, that's going to be Amari Cooper's first TD of the game. We're coming back out here in the third quarter, though. I mean, as you can see, things are looking pretty good for the Browns right now. Now we're up by 10 points and we have possession of the ball so if we can score here that is gonna put us up by quite a bit i mean as long as we score a touchdown i feel like a 17 point lead in the third quarter would definitely help us out a lot that might put things away but i mean again we are playing Pittsburgh, so they're definitely capable of pulling off a comeback. I don't know if this is a smart decision either. That did bring up a fourth down on that last play, and I'm going to go for it because we only need one yard. If this doesn't work out, it might come back to haunt us, but it looks like Hunt is going to pick up the first. So, I mean, thankfully, that is going to work out in our favor. I'm going to switch it up and try and go for Bell here, though. And if this play works out, that is going to be a whole lot of yardage, but he dropped it. I mean, it's not 100% his fault. He did get nailed by Fitzpatrick there. That's pretty much the main reason that he dropped that ball. But I'm going to try and go for a shot with Amari Cooper, who looks to be kind of locked up. Please get that. I'm just throwing a prayer. And I'm pretty sure we got hit again. So thanks to the defense nailing Deshaun Watson, that's going to give us a first down. So I'm going to try and go back to this play which has been basically unstoppable today and it looks like that is gonna work out for a touchdown with amari cooper so that's gonna be two touchdowns on the game now for cooper and that's gonna give the browns a 17 point lead over pittsburgh and i mean as you can see by the looks of it this team did not slow down whatsoever after that so we're gonna take a huge blowout win against the steelers to move us to 2-0 and but anyways after that game we got to add another two players to this team watson was playing good don't get me wrong but if we want to win a super bowl i feel like patrick mahomes is definitely the better option and we also picked up jason kelsey so i mean at this point now that we have mahomes we are by far your super bowl favorites but after that we went ahead and sim to week six 
as you can see, we are 4-0 right now, and we're going to be taking on the San Francisco 49ers. I mean, even though we do have the best offense in the league and the best defense in the league, I feel like this game is probably going to come right down to the wire. Hold on. What a run from Chubb. I mean, again, looking at the roster, the Browns definitely have the better team at this point, but San Francisco is not behind us by a whole lot. So that's why I'm thinking this is going to be a really close game. I got to keep this on the ground. That is a surprising amount of yardage from Mahomes. I mean, I know he's got legs on him, but I was not expecting him to get that much yardage off of a run like that. But either way, we're at the 45 now. Come on, I just got to get that off quickly. That's going to almost be a first. I mean, once again, it seems like this drive is going pretty well so far. I mean, not having Fred Warner is definitely a hit for the 49ers. In case you forgot, he is now on our team because we stole him from them. But anyways, I'm going to try and go for an Ajoku here. I don't think he has really seen a whole lot of action, but if we can get the ball to him and he's open, I feel like he should be able to get a whole lot of yardage, and it looks like he's going to get a first. So after all of that, 30 13 yards to go and we're in the end zone i'm gonna try and go for amari cooper here and hopefully he's not locked up that's kind of dangerous <gasps> oh come on bro you gotta hold on to that and after that san fran got another stop so i mean it's third and ten we really need this play to work out because if it doesn't all of this was basically for nothing i'm going for it on fourth down i know this is not a smart decision by any means but i did not come all this way just to kick a field goal so this better work out for me please get there okay it's gonna pay off we're gonna have amari cooper in the end zone i mean that was a huge gamble i know i probably shouldn't have done that but it worked out so i don't want to hear it that's gonna put us on the board first so we're up seven nothing we're coming back out here in the third quarter though i mean as you can see san fran is getting absolutely cooked right now i thought this game was gonna come down to the wire i already said that but apparently i was wrong this team might be better than i thought they were like again as i said i knew we had the upper hand in this one but i did not think that the score was gonna be this lopsided and i mean if we can score here that's gonna put us up by even more more. I mean, so far, the way this drive is going, I feel like we should hopefully be able to get in the end zone here. I'm going to keep it on the ground of Chubb, though. It, that That is a first down. I honestly couldn't really tell if we got that or if we were just short, but thankfully it worked out. I'm going to try and go for another run with him here, though. I mean, Chubb is kind of going off right now. That's almost another first down. 49ers did end up forcing a third down after that, though, but I mean, the way Chubb has been playing today, he has been very reliable, so I feel like he should be able to get the first here, and it looks like he's gonna keep the drive alive so as long as we don't throw a pick or anything i mean we're in pretty good position to hopefully get cooper in the end zone one more time here i'm gonna see if this works out for us that's kind of dangerous but we're gonna pull it in i'm just gonna try and run this stick play and hopefully we don't end up throwing a pick or anything like that i mean i feel like this is 50 50 he's either gonna be wide open or locked up and it looks like he is locked up so that's gonna bring up a third down i feel like we have been in this situation quite a bit today hopefully this works out if not i'm just gonna go for it on fourth down but that is gonna be close come on cooper let's go what a grab that was an absolute dot from mahomes as well i mean we had to fit that in between two defenders so i mean you gotta have good accuracy for a play like that but either way that's gonna be two tds on the game now for amari cooper and just like last week it's gonna be an absolute blowout against the san francisco 49ers so i mean the last two games we played have been blowouts that's gonna move us to five and oh now but anyways once again after that game we got to add another two players to this team as you can see this offense is starting to look very terrifying i mean we went ahead and picked up justin jefferson and we also got trent williams but anyways after that we went ahead and sim to week 10 and as you're about to see we have a very important game coming up because we're taking on the ravens who are eight and one and we are eight and zero. i mean the way these two teams have been playing this season this game right here could very well decide who wins the division i mean at this point i don't know if either of these teams are going to lose another game for the rest of the season Chubb is losing yardage so that is not very helpful I mean that's gonna make it third and 12 so I mean I guess now is definitely a very good time to test out Jefferson but we're getting sacked and of course after that the Ravens did end up scoring so we're down seven nothing right now I'm gonna try and go back to Jefferson here though and hopefully he 
can pick up the first. That's an absolute dot from Mahomes, and we're still going. I know it's just one play, but I'm already noticing that this duo is going to be absolutely insane, which I kind of expected. I mean, it's Justin Jefferson and Patrick Mahomes. I have nightmares about that happening in real life. I'm going to try and go back to this play again here, though, and I mean, if it works out the way it did last time, they should hopefully give us a whole lot of yardage. I mean... That's going to be good. Come on, Jefferson, get there. That's a dot from Mahomes. Oh, yeah. This duo is something else, man. Oh, my God. I can't believe that actually worked out for that much yardage. But anyways, seven yards to go, and we're in now. We got to rush that off. But we're going to find Amari Cooper. So that is going to be our first touchdown of the game to tie things up. After what I've seen so far, though, I mean, I feel like this is probably going to be our closest game of the season. I mean, as you can see, we're coming back out here now in the third quarter, and we are only up by two points right now. So it looks like I was right. So far, this has been a very close game, but it looks like Chubb is going to bring this one to the house. I was not expecting him to have that much open field, but I'm just going to take it. I'm not even going to give it to Cooper. I mean, it would have been disrespectful to go out of bounds after a run like that. So we're just going to give the touchdown to Chubb. Job. that puts us up by nine points coming back out here in the fourth quarter though there is three seconds on the clock and we're down by three points a field goal would have tied it but i came for the win so hopefully we can end things off right here because i wasn't trying to go to overtime that looked like a really bad decision but it's gonna pay off so that's gonna give the win to the cleveland browns and that's another touchdown from amari cooper as well i mean it paid off again that was another huge gamble but so far all of the gambles i have made have paid off so that's gonna move us to nine and oh and that's also gonna put us one game above baltimore but anyways after that game we got to add two new additions to this team Team. I just went ahead and maxed out the defense by picking up Derwin James and Jesse Bates. So, I mean, as you can see, looking at it right now, there's no question about it. This honestly might be the best defense of all time. And on the other hand, I mean, same thing probably goes for the offense. So, I mean, with the team we have right now, I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that our work here is done. And we also have a 9-0 record. So, there's a decent chance this team goes undefeated. And it looks like the Browns were able to go undefeated with a 7 17 and 0 record to win the division and get the number one seed and it looks like we're going to be taking on the eight and nine broncos in the divisional round and it looks like we're going to get the win so now we play the ravens for a trip to the super bowl and it looks like we are once again going to get the best of baltimore so now we play the 49ers again in the super bowl it looks like cleveland is also going to be starting with the ball in this game so i'm hoping we can get off to a hot start i mean last time we played the niners they got absolutely annihilated. And I mean, this team was not as good last time we played them. I don't think we had Jefferson the first time we took this team on. So, I mean, obviously, these guys are a whole lot better now. I feel like this game is going to be a lot closer, though. I mean, the score last time, I feel like that was just a fluke. And I mean, this is also the Super Bowl now. And we're also working off of a third down here. But we're going to find Amari Cooper. So, that puts us in scoring position. So, just like that, 29 yards to go and we're in. In. I'm gonna try and go for Jefferson here and hopefully this play works out in my favor Oh, that's gonna be close, but it's gonna work eight yards to go I gotta make sure we don't throw an interception or anything like that though I want to try and go for Najoku because again, we haven't really used him a whole lot today But I'm gonna keep it on the ground here and play it safe it looks like we're getting caught though so considering that i'm gonna see if we can find jefferson this time and if this play works out again like it has been all day with cooper that should be a touchdown and it looks like jefferson's gonna be in so that is gonna put the browns on the board first here as i said though we obviously have a lot more work to do i feel like this game is gonna be a lot closer than the last one but surprisingly enough after getting destroyed in the regular season, it looks like the 49ers are going to get their revenge in the Super Bowl. I mean, I thought our super team was going to be too much to handle, but apparently not. I mean, they did a lot better than I was expecting them to. I mean, obviously the Browns did good this season, but I thought this super team was going to be too much to handle. But I mean, considering the 49ers are winning the Super Bowl, apparently I was wrong. So as you can see to end things off, Brock Purdy and the San Francisco 49ers are going to be hoisting a 
well-deserved Lombardi trophy. But anyways, that's going to do it for this one. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It'd really help out the channel. And if you have any video ideas, feel free to drop them down in the comment section below. I'll try to get to as many of them as I can. And while you're down there, comment the most random thing you can think of so we can confuse everybody in the comment section. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.